It always comes to this. there guys here to do another tattoo progress video um where i last left off oh boy where was i i think i had just showed off the the left armpit with the the green and yellow and the red highlights the the white and all that stuff and uh i've had three tattoo sessions since so it's a little hard for me to remember exactly where i'm at but um yeah, it's been a productive week for me here at the shop. Uh, obviously, I've had my head roses reworked again. Um, they, we relined them and did white and black highlights in both of them. Um, Could have easily done those in one session. They, they only took about an hour each. Um, but uh, the way it worked out was uh, Terry just had a little bit of time at the end of each day. So we, uh, we just did them that way. Uh, sat down for an hour at a time kind of thing and just kind of banged them out. Um, if it's not clear for people where this is all headed, um, all of these head tattoos are going to be reworked. Uh, I've got the pompadour hairstyle up. Uh, great for head tattoos. Anything on the side of your head, keep the hair out of the way. I used to wear my hair like this all the time, but uh, obviously I haven't in a while. Um, but yeah, it's great for head tattoos. Anything that gets your hair out of the way is great. Um, yeah, head tattoos, never very painful. Never never have been. I've always kind of enjoyed them. In fact, there was a guy here uh, getting some work done in the shop around when I started here. He was uh, having some head tattoos done and I was thinking, man, I, I missed that. I could do I could do some head tattoos again. And uh, so I found some, I found a way to get that, uh, that it's scratched here. Um, I've got another tattoo session booked with Terry um, coming up here. It's going to be for the white on black and black on black highlights like we did on my uh, my face roses and on my neck. We're going to do that all throughout the filigree. Um, my chin and the sides here. So that's going to be probably three or four weeks from now. And I'm expecting that to be a bit of a longer session. It's a bit complicated. I have the picture in my head, but it's hard to explain where that's going. So uh, just know that it's going to be a game changer again. Um, pretty well all of this stuff's going to get redone. I'm going to have Terry redo uh, the line work here. And I'm going to have him freshen up the, the leaves here that were bats before. Probably get the, the forehead part um, like highlighted and uh, relined. And, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, I'm going to tweak some things in the back here. There's some gaps I want to fill. And uh, from there, it's kind of just like picking away at little things and trimming with uh, Terry while I'm working on the big stuff with Rick. And eventually, I'm hoping that uh, Terry does one of my sleeves because I think it would be cool to get him to do one. But I think that's kind of intimidating him a little bit right now. Um, doing a, a white and black on black and potentially color on black sleeve because that's the direction I'm heading in or heading in so uh, I think he's he's uh, content with just doing these little odd jobs for me for now before we move into that uh, big scary unknown territory but it's nice having I've always enjoyed working with two artists at a time and I've always found it uh, helpful to be doing a couple of things at the same time and um, where I'm gearing up a little bit again I'm having a lot of people ask me with uh, over 1,200 hours of tattooing, quickly approaching 1,300, um, how I'm still, how I have such stamina for it. Because a lot of people get to a point like uh, five, 600 hours and they've already had enough. Like that's kind of, most bodysuits seem to take between 250 and 500 hours. My first bodysuit rounded in around 550-ish. Uh, territory which is not uncommon either if you're getting um really really detailed um elaborate work you're going to be in that kind of an area for a full body suit coverage 
And if you have to do any touch-ups or anything like that along the way, it's gonna bloat the time too. Um, while I'm on that note, I wanted to talk a little bit about bodysuits. I haven't talked about bodysuits in general in a little while. I did a whole video on the subject, but a bodysuit isn't always like gonna be the same amount of numbers, like for the hours and, and how much you get to spend on it. It's gonna vary a lot. And some of that isn't even just the style, it's some of it's like the tattooers you're working with, the shenanigans, the all the weird bits and pieces that go into it. Um, since I, I just got these, done i should say it's the fourth time i've had them done which would make them my fourth head suit or whatever the hell you'd want to call it because they've looked four different ways now um the first time they were done uh they were originally like a little bit red but sort of black and gray and then they went full red uh, matching the rest of my suit and then lee did a pass uh, over the red with white because he was always confident that you could tame the red with the white and uh, then they went kind of they went kind of a uh, pinky purpley um, and black and now uh, I've been three years with them like that and I got Terry to do the white on black pass again so now they're uh, they're not white on black white on red which is an odd statement um, so now they're they're more white balanced than they are red and I think if we do one more, the, there'll be none of that red left. So just a little tip there. Um, white doesn't just work on black. It can tame out other colors too. I'm pretty sure you can conquer any color with enough white. It's just about getting the, the balance of uh, the ink under the skin more white than uh, red. Um, I'll make a, a side note there. Just because you tattoo something a certain color or say you tattoo something black, that doesn't mean my skin is now black. Um, that just means that there's black ink under there and that's what's showing through, right? So my skin is still this tone everywhere. So it's just about overpowering the black, right? So if you put enough, if you did like three passes of red, for example, there's no way that the, the black is overpowering that because there's gonna be more color than, than there is black in the balance. It's complicated. It's, it's not like just, it's not like coloring a picture. It's like mixing mixing colors underneath the skin, right? Um, you get a certain balance of something and eventually that's gonna overpower it. It doesn't just, it doesn't matter that, the, that one color is darker than another. It's about the amount that's in there. At least that's what I've noticed. So anyway, while I was talking about body suits, um, people like to think, and I've said it before, it's, it's a buzz phrase to some extent, uh, that I'm working on my third suit and uh, all that, but there's parts of me that have been done between 15 and 20 times. Does that mean that I've had uh, 15 and 20 different sleeves, 15 and 20 different hand tattoos? Like, I think that uh, we don't have the right language around all of that yet. Um, I really think that uh, the bodysuit in general is something that should just change with you as you go on. And if, if you're a tattoo collector or you enjoy being tattooed. I think that uh, it's not helpful or useful to think about things in, in such a way. I think that it's a little bit better to think um, you've made some changes. Like, for example, my chest piece that I had forever that people were upset that I covered was a part of all three of my bodysuits, all three. So then blacking it out does that mean that I'm on to a different thing now? Like, does that mean that it's not part of the third suit? Like, there's just so many things. Like now if I, I've had the eye has looked, for example, about five or six different ways. So if I change it now, does that mean it's a new bodysuit? Like, what are the parameters of that is what I'm always wondering. Because I've heard some crazy things like, um, I posted an image of my, my torso looking four different ways on my Instagram. Um, and it was, oh, he's had four bodysuits. Well, no, because my legs have only been um, tattooed for the most part between three and four times. Um, some places as few as two times. So, like, it's not a full thing, but, like, if you counterbalance that with, with some parts of me that have been tattooed 15 to 20 times, as I said, um, how does the math work out on that? It doesn't. Um, some places are going to get tattooed more than others for all kinds of reasons. Even in my first torso suit, 
Um, a lot of people thought that was really cool and people really liked it, but a lot of the lines weren't really there. They were half in and uh, some of the shading wasn't like dark enough or it needed to be touched up. And uh, um, we had already done some of those lines several times and some of the shading several times. Hell, the original eye was uh, tattooed four times. The color was put in four times. My wrist, the color on my wrist was done three or four times. Um, some of those places in that first bodysuit had already been tattooed mul multiple times before the second bodysuit. So, I mean, if you're just going for rounds on things, like even before the first bodysuit, I could claim that most of me had been passed more than once. So, I don't know how all of that works out. It's also things like the first time I had these uh, roses done on my head, um, that's the longest tattoo session I've ever had. People ask me all the time what the longest session I ever had was, because I think people assume that I'm sitting for 12 to 15 hours or more every session for some reason, even though I would never advise anyone to do that, um, <laughs> ever. Uh, for any reason would I ever advise that. I, I'm a two to four hour guy. I've sat for longer, obviously. My longest session was 9.5 hours, closer to 10 hours, and it was gross. It was a terrible session, and it wasn't because it was super painful. It was, I felt like passing out almost the whole entire time. Like, once you got five or six hours in, you know, you've gone through a couple waves of adrenaline, uh, and you're just kind of, you're tired. You just, you don't want to do it anymore. And it was actually on these head roses, believe it or not, because... Another thing to take into consideration when, you, when you're when you talking about bodysuits and how long things should take and what you're going to pay is not every tattooer tattoos at the same speed. Lee could have done those in two hours. Terry did the, the two of them in two hours. Uh, Lee could have done it maybe even a little faster than two hours. I don't know. Um, but it took this, this first tattooer that did them nine and a half hours. She was particularly slow. I had some other stuff done by her and it similarly took a very long time. I had a couple of little uh, traditional tattoos on my wrists and uh, the two of them were four and a half hours for the two of them. So, and then there were times when I would work with Lee and we would do a giant piece that big in an hour. It didn't always work out like to scale. Like each piece should have been, you would think a certain amount of time, but um, each artist has their own pace and tempo. So some things should have been faster, but some other things should have taken a lot longer. So my bodysuit was, was an enormous undertaking the first time. The blackout took a lot less time, but um, I would say it was overall more painful. And now the new work that we're doing over the blackout is taking a lot longer than either of the the first or second suit um, because things are having to be done almost always more than once so just some things to keep in mind about body suits is uh the more complicated you make it the longer it's going to take um all of a sudden you could get through your back like if you were just going to black out a back from scratch you could do that in two sessions even one session as lee and i are talking about doing mine in one session but if you were gonna do something like um, what I had going on in my first torso as a back, um, that's gonna take you hundreds of hours. Like, there's no way around it that's gonna take that long. It doesn't It doesn't take less than that. Um, so yeah, just a few thoughts on that. Anyway, I'll show these off close up. Made this one a little long. So this is mostly white and black now. Again, these were full red at one point. So, and I was, I was pretty confident we could do this. Um, again, the skepticism over white ink is, if it's not dying out from my work, like it never will, but it's not necessary. There's no reason for people to say that white ink doesn't work or doesn't last or any of that garbage. It's all nonsense. And uh, the, more, the more evidence I rail against this, like the harder and harder it's gonna be for lazy tattooers and ignorant people to claim that white ink doesn't work. Um, and, uh, I'm inspired to do that. So anyway, if you guys like this one, give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you again soon.